This morning in the Eagle Studio, we got Tyler Hildebrand with us. Tyler, good morning. Good morning, Ronnie. How you doing? I'm doing very good. Tyler, talk to us about how the Flyers are doing. What does it feel like behind the scenes there during this week? Uh, this week felt like a lot of uh, catching up on uh, on sleep and rest and and relaxation. That last series against Verdon was. Uh, well, I was a nail biter the the whole way through. Game six went to quadruple overtime. Game five went to double overtime. Game four went to double overtime. Um, it 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 was uh, it was intense. Um, Portage was a great series as well. A, a great hockey team and a great hockey community. Um, but right now the Winkler Flyers are rolling. Um, you can kind of see it in in the way that they carry themselves on the ice and and uh, in the dressing room. Um, they're feeling good about their game. Um, they know their game plan and and they seem to be playing it to a T right now. Um, we're wearing teams down as the series goes on. We're we're big. We're fast. We're strong. Um, and it it seems to be working out pretty well for us. We're headed to the MJHL final for the first time in 22 years. <laughs> that part worked out for sure. And you think about the moments uh, throughout the series where you uh, you started off. Again against the Terriers there and uh, some unexpected things with the Terriers at the end where it seemed like they almost gave up. The Flyers just kept pushing. There are there the Flyers are a relentless team. I'm not the coach. I don't get to make up the game plan, but I do get to watch every single game. So you get to see it happen and and uh, our forward group is big, they're strong and they're willing to throw their body at people and I, I think that has worn teams down. You didn't see it quite as much with Verdon, but you could tell towards the end of the series that they were a little tired of, of being hit every single time they touched the puck and um, that's the game plan as we move forward. We're going to hit everything that moves and and uh, uh, continue to fire pucks on net. And, and then <clears throat> on the back end, uh, we've got some incredible talents, so some new guys that have come in and stepped up big time, James Richards and, and Blake Matheson, two younger defensemen that uh, l- look really, really good. Um, and, then, and then further back, Malachi Clausen has been uh, unbelievable, especially in this last series here. Um, a couple one goal games, uh, three of them uh, all went to overtime and, and he stood on his head the whole way through. Absolutely. I don't know where, where we'd be without Clausen. It's good to see him in, in between the pipes there. And so when you go to the a Winkler Flyers playoff game at the Centennial Arena, you get to see a whole lot of different things. The experience is a part of it. The experience is 100% a part of it. Um, it's loud. Uh, it's rambunctious. Uh, we have Grintich and the Orange Men running around. Uh, Pat has the music absolutely cranked. Um, it's It's a... It's an event. It's not just a hockey game. It's it's an event. Um, and we can't thank the community of Winkler and surrounding area enough that, that they continue to come and, and watch us play and, and be a part of what's going on right now. It's 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 pretty incredible to be a part of this. And when the Winkler fans, you know, feel a little bit of excitement and they start to make a little bit of noise, what does that mean to the players when they hear it, it, it get loud? It compares to, to nothing in, in this league. Um there are no better fans in the league than Winkler and sometimes it takes a little while for the Winkler fans to get warmed up and get going but once they get going they get going they were on the refs in the one game there I think that was against Portage um, I think we were at 110 decibels uh, chanting at the, at the ref which is, is pretty incredible um, that 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 build there's there's no building like that uh, mm-hmm. in in the league and and there are no fans like the Winkler Flyer fans. And talk to us about when's the first time we can be in the Centennial Arena for the final. The first time for the Centennial Arena is Game Two. Um, Steinbach has home ice advantage, so we'll play uh, in Ste- well, pardon me, we'll play in Niverville Friday night. And the first game in Winkler is Sunday, April twenty first, seven p.m. Doors open at six o'clock. You can get tickets at uh, Winkler Co-op uh, Gas Bar or Petro Canada in Winkler up until about five thirty. Then uh, tickets are available at the door. But yeah, Sunday seven o'clock. I can't wait, Ronnie. Yeah. I can't wait for that building to be rocking. We're excited for it, Tyler. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.